Hello everyone, welcome back to Zelda Zunday. Today is episode 11 and just like always another quick recap of what we had done before. Um, I basically got stuck quite a long time on here, this shrine here. My aim was to make it further down to the southeast region of the map. So that's where we're at basically. I did unlock another lookout tower, I think over here, and helped for President Hudson's signs. That's essentially all I did. Um, oh, uh, th that shrine there. So we are going to continue our journey along this way, I think, towards this pin and do some more exploring hopefully this time rather than getting stuck specifically in a shrine, which I don't want to have to do again. Luckily I did do it. I did get a little bit um, aggy, could say, oh shit. But um, we did it anyway. And I'm hoping today is a little bit more productive in the exploration. Oh, side of it. Oh, am I supposed to do something right now? Uh, <laughs> strange. Up there. Okay, what's that? What's going on with that then? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll have a look at that another time. Pray? because we have quite a few of the Light of Blessings now. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast can canyon. I would ask you go to that land and bring tidings to me of, my, of the Mother Goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. Okay. I suppose we could do that whilst we're here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. That is, okay, it's quite far north, but we have it now. So we will keep going as we're going, determined to keep going this way, to be honest with you. But unlocking sort of side quests on the way is absolutely fine. This medicinal plant is known for its sharp thorns and for the fruit it bears. The fruit contains a compound that increases attack power when cooked in a dish. Ooh. We can have a look at that uh, little, I don't know, trial thing that's up there at some point as well. But I really just want to try and unlock some more of the map to make it easier for fast travel as well. Obviously, we lost my horse because I gave it to some girl who also took the wagon that I was hoping to have. So I need to kind of get a horse again for the third time. But hopefully we can find one. This is a pretty cool area. Some ruins. Did that just drop from the sky? Okay. I uh, just want to make sure I'm pretty much going in the right direction. Having a look around. Oh, God. I don't have any arrows either, which is slightly irritating when it comes to these types of enemies. And I definitely need to get some from somewhere. Oh, we also got another part of the story of where Zelda is with the geoglyphs. Um, they're obviously not in order depending on... depending on which gyroglyph you come across. Um, so it was part six, I think, we found. Oh, these things. I remember these things. They were a pain as well. I don't really have the equipment to bring it down, but... Oh, God. Let's just book it. There's so much to explore, but as I said, I really want to try and 
at least unlock some things first, some parts of the map so we can easily travel to and from. No. No. <gasps> Asshole. Jesus Christ. A bit of spit and I die. I will, at some point, obviously, fight the enemies, but as I said, I, th I feel like I need to just get some areas unlocked at least first. There's another shrine, there's some sort of... Huh, Korok there? Looks like it, doesn't it? Keep getting turned about. Is it this way? Yeah. What is that up there? Holy crap. Well, that doesn't look like a friendly, friendly dragon, does it? Which is sad. I want all the dragons to be friendly. Ah, oh, there's a shrine there, but do I have the mental capacity for another hour shrine? <laughs> Probably not. That dragon is mad. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get up here. I have, I might have some stamina stuff that I can use. And to be honest, I could glide from this height, which would make it a bit easier. Look at that. I might have to pin that just to make it back here at some point. Sorry, that is going to... That's going to carry on until I get used to <laughs> the... Um, new controller that I've got. Those two buttons are very close together. So I just need a bit of muscle memory to not keep pressing home. Oh, there's another piece falling. Whee! Can I not do anything with this? Hello? Why won't it let me interact with this? That's annoying. Right, I, oh, all this stuff going on. I need to go this way more. This way more, that coastal bit. Okay. See how much I can glide there. Looks like there's a well there. This looks like there's a lot of enemy-esque things going on. Excuse me. Okay. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. What? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Stone talus, you can do one. It's the same. Floria Falls and Martha's Landing. Let's go. Is this like a stables? That was the other thing, was the um, Gazette stable. Lakeside stable, nice. West Nekluda. Let's have a look here. What have we got going on? Oh. Is this your first time in this area? It's a little known fact that our stable receives orders from Princess Zelda herself. At her direction, we opened a sanctuary for a new animal species. It's right across the ravine from here. Oh. Ordinary visitors can easily reach it, but with a telescope or the like, you can you might be able to, to snatch a glimpse. Anyway, once again, yeah. you're a night owl, I see. Welcome, welcome to Lakeside Stable. Uh -huh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time, we will add one point to your pony points. Boop, boop. One left. Now then, once again, oh. Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge with us. Oh. Now, how can I help you? Goodbye. Oh. The rain is almost constant here, but once in a while it does let up, like now. When it's raining, the well behind the stable is too full for me to go inside. 
But when the skies are calm like this, the water in the well disappears and I give, get a good scrub. <laughs> come to think of it, I should be able to do that now. <laughs> Take care not to slip. Um, can we stop climbing things, please? Horses. Let's have a look, see who's in here. Let's see what's in the issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette. What's the news? Freezing temperatures bring February shivers to the Rito. Rito village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village. Dangerous for residents and visitor alike. That's awful. It sounds like anyone trying to get to Rito village needs to prepare themselves for harsh, freezing weather. There's so much to read in these papers. Other stories? Blood moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers, on nights when a blood moon rises, so two do monsters that have been defeated. Mm. Ha! This reminds me of that researcher who was studying the blood moon. They were really excited to visit a monster fort and examine the relationship between the monsters and the blood moon. I hope they're doing OK. I don't know if they'd be able to hold their own in a fight. Mm. There's so much to read in these papers. To think that I can sit here in a place like this and read all about the affairs of our world. The Lucky Clover Gazette, what a wonder. If you're understaffed, maybe I should consider becoming a journalist. Okay. Ah, forgive me. I do hope I wasn't in the way. The meal on the poster sure looks tasty, doesn't it? It's a simple recipe. Just stew some fresh seafood from Hylian tomato. It's not with Hylian tomato, sorry. It's not just delicious, but nutritious too. So once Ty comes home from, ah, excuse me, once my husband comes from back from his travels in the north, this is a meal I plan to be cooking for him. I used to get the fresh seafood make to make this from Lurin, Lurelin village out east of here. Aww. But that was before it got attacked by pirates. What am I to do? That's Lurelin village. My dear husband Ty said he was going alone on a journey up north to find something to protect me with. Oh, it's her. I admit, I admit it's lonely being away from my dear husband, but our hearts are always connected. At least I like to think so. Cool. Oh, the caves. You ugly three giant monster brothers, give back our caves, mumble. Alrighty. Luralin, that was it. Pot lid. Why, thank you. Oh. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You've got to be... You've got to be... to get out here. Sorry. I bet you've come to see the strange creatures, or maybe all the old ruins around this area. I'll tell you, this area has its challenges. The heavy rain makes steady footing hard to come by. Ah. Still, if you wander around, you never know what you'll find. Just don't let any lightning find you first. Excellent. Well, thank you for that. So hold, I haven't got any fish. So that's a shame. Hold. Uh, hold, I guess. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> so the elixirs, oh, no. The elixirs, you have a critter. And something like this, is it? I can't remember. Wasn't it? It's a critter. Yeah, see what I'm reading there. But what do I put it with? Stamina, monster parts. Let's try it. Oh, it did work. Energizing elixir. Yes, let's try that again. So we want a critter. Hold. And a monster. Peace thing. Ah. <laughs> Sticky. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay. And you said about a well. A well, a well, a well. A 
Okay. Hello. Oops. Hmm. Let's see what's around in here. At least we we're on the right path as well to Lurelin. La la lu. Just reminds me of the Lady in the Tramp song. If you'd like to know. Okay, is that it? Okay. Just some bits, some uh, topaz, which is always nice. Let's get out of here then. Nice little well. Cool. Right. On we go to continue our quest of looking for horses. Oh, what's up here? Looking for horses, looking for vi villages. And the Gazette place as well. Oh, oh, I see. There's a wagon there. Oh, man. Bananas. Mighty bananas. Nice. Thank you. Where is your friend? Oh, and I also clocked the sign guy. Yeah, your friend and you got separated. He is all the way over there. My friend is sending up a smoke soon. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Blah, blah, blah. Wah, wah, wah. OK. First, we shall help this man. What are they over there? Huh. Uh. OK. That might work. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. I will give him my full support as always. No wind or rain will get in my way. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Let go. Let's see. Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't realise it was going to go forward. Mm -hmm. Like that. That should... Hopefully work. Can you just tell me not to bother him? What a douche. <laughs> OK. Um. Maybe that will work. <laughs> it's kind of attached. It's... It should be wedged. As if! Oh, fuck this. <laughs> I don't even care. I might just leave him like that. Oh, thank God for that. I'm not a builder by trade, just so you know. I don't know how he's standing, to be honest with you. I don't really give a shit anymore. Give me food and money and everything. Yeah. How are you not putting that stake in the ground? I don't know. Give me money. Give me food. <laughs> yep. Nice. Ah! No, give me more. Premium collection. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, see you later. That was going to annoy me if I couldn't do it. Uh. I'd like to get close, a close look at the animals over there, but darn it, they run off when people get close. Mm. Fascinating creatures, stocky bill, bulky animals, all of them. What well, I wouldn't give to give a, get a closer look, better yet, to touch one. <gasps> oh, hi there. Didn't really notice you walk up, buddy. I've been looking across the way there. I wonder, are you curious about unusual animals over there too? 
<laughs> oh, so you're curious about them too? Then you must have seen have a keen mind. Blimey. Those are species of animal that few have ever seen called dondons. They were discovered in this area. Ah, there's this dude over there. A young woman on the opposite bank has been taking care of them. She really knows her stuff. If you'd like to know no more, buddy, I'd suggest that you talk to her. Speaking of new kinds of creatures, a pair of fellows visited the stable recently said they're searching for some unusual creatures. They're seeking a giant white stallion and nothing less than a, the horse god. Unusual indeed. That stallion sounds much larger than a horse and that god is surely much greater than a creature. Those two headed west over here toward Lake of the go Horse God. You could talk to them if that sounds intriguing. It does sound intriguing. Um, how are we getting over there then? Hmm. Over that way, I guess? Korok, we need to move you, I guess, and seeing as I have no horse, I can't use a wagon as of yet. So I'm gonna have to do this, I guess. Which is fine, as long as there's no frickin' enemies. Your friend looks quite far away, I will say that. This is prime gaming right now. Ugh. I still can't see any horses around. Yep. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Two seeds, lovely. Bye. All for the seeds. Cool. Right, let's just quickly go back and check that area out and speak to the lady that's the uh, animal carer, I guess. I want to see what these things are and whether we can actually ride them. Probably not, but worth a look. Get some more bananas. Uh, she was up there, right? I have got those slippery thingy elixirs if I need them, but hopefully, as I said, that coming here looks like I might need it. Uh, cooking? Sticky. Let's try that. Yeah, so should be able to climb. What? Slip resistance, no? Maybe I just can't jump. Wait a minute. No. How come I can't do that then? I thought that was the whole point of these elixir things, is that you can... You can frickin' climb. Did I not read that right? Hmm. Well, it seems to be able to climb up here. Come on, come on. Go over that side then. Mm -hmm. Shit. Can I get? Uh... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh. Okay. No. This button, please. <sighs> hmm. Didn't give me much stamina. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, just... This is a nightmare. Grants a med... Mid-level slip resistant to keep you from slipping on wet surfaces. Highly absorptive ingredients make it a must-have. 
Well, not that great then, is it? Or do I wait for it to stop raining? There's no freaking clouds in the sky. Is it gonna be dry a little bit? What do you reckon? Can you dry the surface? It seems dry. Good, 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 good. Okay. So then I need to get across here. Oh, crap. Why didn't I think? Can we just die? And me goes back to the beginning bit. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> I just want to do this bit and then I can... Then I can move on, try and get to Lurelin village. That would be good, wouldn't it? As if we'd done something. Uh, one of you, one of you. Some fruit. Oh, I need to sort my stamina out. Oh, I was lucky. Catch your breath. Go to here. Yep, some height. Go again. Aim for the rock. Up, 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 up. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, slowly. Ooh. Let's just hope it stops. Keep stop, stop, stop the raining. I know what I want to say, for fuck's sake. You're meant to climb. Oh. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Please have enough stamina for this bit. I think we're okay. Okay. Oh, don't mind me. If I climb up this bit first, without that like, animal trying to hit me, get my stamina back, and then I hope that I can have enough stamina for the rest of this top bit, which I think I do. This is a very arse end way of getting across here, I feel. OK. Right. So where is... Where is this area? Is that the... I don't know what that is. It must be this way, right? I don't think it's further up. Oh my God, where am I now? I'm dead, that's where I am. <sighs> okay. I'm sure it's this way, it better be this way. I'm gonna go mad. Right, where the frick are these animals? Ah. Thank goodness for that. Here we go. Oh. oh, my, you must have come quite a long way, you think? Oh. This is a sanctuary for Dondons, the new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. Dondons are quite precious, as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but you've got nothing to worry about. They're good-natured sort. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used to give tromping around after her wherever she went. 
I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm. That reminds me, did you hear that rumour about Princess being seen riding a beast? Well, I bet what people actually saw was her with a don-don back when she established his sanctuary. It go just goes to show how much rumours can take on a life of their own. Don-dons aren't beastly, they're adorable. Oops. Oh. Excuse me, but you can't take that gem. Oh. Sorry. Your gem is precious clue to understand Dondon's lives and habits. Mm. You'll have to bear with me, it's a bit of a long story. One day, some luminous stones I'd picked up fell out of my bag. Before I knew it, a Dondon charged over and then chomp chomp. It gobbled the luminous stones right up. Mm. These animals show no interest in food and then luminous stones of all things spark their hunger. I was shocked. After a while, we found gems on the ground where the Dondon grazed. Those are the gems. Ah. Where they come from remains a little uncertain, but I think Dondon's created them after eating the luminous stones. If, if that's the case, I might learn more about the nature of Dondon's by studying those, so please don't take them. Okay. Okay. Hello? So I can't do anything with you, I can't interact. Hello? Can I ride you? What if I give them a... What was it, a luminous stone? Do I have anything like that? Luminous stone. I don't think I do. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I do. Hold. Drop. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Anything? Are you going to poop something out? Hello? Hello? Nothing? Nothing? Um, okay. So I just gave him a stone for nothing? Hmm. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> He's done nothing. Yeah, well, I'm going to annoy you because you've annoyed me. <sighs> right, girl, well, I just fed him one and nothing happened. Let's just pass some time and see if he needs a bit of time to digest. 5 a.m., baby! Mm -hmm. Nothing? I don't even know which one it was. No. Well, that was a lie. Oh. Only five of these little ones have been found in the world. If you had the chance to meet them in person, I promise strange as they look, they're good natured. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. So nothing. Not done nothing. Okay, well, I need to move on. Hope you enjoyed that stone, dude, because you gave me nothing back for it. Right, I kind of want to go... <sighs> Can I go here? No, I can't even... I can't even fast travel to there, so we're going to have to... <sighs> go across here. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? I reckon I should really learn from my mistakes 
and cook a lot more stamina regen things until I can upgrade my stamina. Don't tease me with that. Um, are we going to make it? Please do one thing for me. Yes! That's a win. Thank fuck. Right. Can I just talk to this guy and tell him that you can go over there? Oh. Yeah, I went over and fed him and he didn't do shit. Literally. Ah. Yeah, he's just talking ah. the same stuff. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Right, let's go, finally. I think this is the right way. Yeah. Yeah. If we can make it to, I think it was Luralin, at least one of the villages, that is a win in my book today. Because <laughs> it's been uh, a trying time in this wet land. Another, oh, look, he's here. <sighs> I mean, I'd like to help him, but also, I don't, like, whatever. I'm busy. I'll come back. Right, what have we got going on here? Luralin and Tuft Mountain. Right, we're going... We're going to Luralin first and foremost. That is the aim of today. We are making it to Luralin. Cool. Another little cache materials, or two of them, blimey. Oh, there's a shrine and some sort of little bonfire. Interesting. What's this say? Pirates, maybe? Luralin village is closed due to a pirate invasion. For your own safety, stay away. There it is. But I might just come up here first and then at least I can unlock the short... Uh, quick travel, fast travel, and speak to these two guys here. I want to see if I can, if there's any sort of quest on saving the village and people then being able to return the, the village. Oh. They've destroyed the village, it's ruined. Oh dear, it does look mm. a bit sad. No way we're getting close with all of those monsters around. Hmm, why do we get a feeling we're being watched? Hello. Oh. Ah, were well, you planning to visit the village? You might want to make other plans if you value your life. Not to ruin your travel plans, but as a head of the village, it's my duty to protect locals and visitors alike. Huh. You see over there, these monsters have taken over the village. I don't know if they're after food or supplies or what have you, but the minute they arrived, they started acting like they own the place. Um. By some luck of... Some bit of luck, everyone from the village managed to escape in one piece. But with their homes destroyed and nowhere to live, well, the village is scattered to the four winds. If only those monsters weren't there. Master builder that I am, I'd have those buildings picked up in a jiffy. Mm. There's certainly been an increase in monsters lately. I wonder if it's because of the upheaval. And they seem more aggressive too. I never thought they'd be bold enough to launch an attack from sea. They're behaving just like pirates. As long as even a single one of them remains, it's too dangerous to go anywhere near the village. Well, quest accepted. Thank you very much. Mission selecting a challenge from your adventure log will mark the relevant location on your map. First things first is that we're doing this shrine. Sifamim Shrine. Then we've got the fast travel unlocked and in the next video, it will be the quest mission of saving Luralin Village, I feel. I'm hoping that this is not going to take me 50 minutes. Why is he stripped? This shrine imprisons and purifies ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. What? <gasps> Proving grounds flow. Sifafim. Sifu Mim Shrine. OK. 
Okay. All right, what have we got? Back and forth. Oh, hi, Link. Look out. So one closer, yes. Oh, they're sort of going around. Okay. That's good to know. So what I really want is a raft, to be honest. There's one coming here. Okay, we have a raft. Well, great for fire fruit, but I don't... Oh, I have arrows. Oh, what? None. Oh, I don't have an actual... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's get back on the raft. Don't be hasty. Oh, great. Mm. Thanks for that. You've just fucked me up. OK. Really? God! No. No, no, no. Get up! Oh. OK. We're OK, we're OK. I'm going to try and stealth this because... because these are way too... See me. How the fuck can you see me, dude? <laughs> I'm dying. I know. Oh, shit. Wrong one. <sighs> uh, I had, I can fuse, can't I? Did he just die? He did. Um. I had... Wait a minute. Yes. So if I put... This is really difficult to try and do stuff whilst you're constantly getting aggroed. Um, what I want to do is hold... Drop. And then I want to fuse with the wooden stick. No, I want a fuse with wooden stick, okay. Cool. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and it's... Um... <laughs> I can't talk and concentrate. I struggle doing one thing at a time. Don't look at me. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Get up there, get up there, yes. Yeah, cool, yeah. Oh. Get up, get up. Get up. Fuck me, hey, get up! Jesus Christ, Link. Cool, nice. Okay. Be aware of health. I know it's not great, but... It's all I have. Do I need to kill them all? I hope not. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be awkward. Christ, 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 Christ. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, my God. Guys, I don't know. Um, fruit that generates cold when struck hit correctly gives an effect. But, okay. What am I supposed to do? Crikey. What? Ja. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to do this, but I don't know what else I can do. Oh, 
How am I supposed to kill these dudes? Like, I'm not being funny. They are so difficult. I'm just gonna die right now. What, what am I doing? Let go. Whatever you're doing, let go. Jesus. Yeah, cool. So they don't like water, right? OK. No, get up. Just get up. OK, right, they don't like water. There, 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 there. Come on, up you get. Right. Um, okay. So they don't like water. There was another one. Where is he? He's there. And there's one there. Okay. No. Yeah. Push him over, push him over. Yeah. Try the other one. <sighs> Come on, Pink. Get up. Get up. Right. Where is he? Right, he's coming over now. Try not to use the pure pad, though. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Come on, Kim. Come on. Come on. Push him over. Okay. Nice. Oops. No, no, no. Didn't want to do that. Right. Get up, get up, get up. Yes. Right. <sighs> Anything is, what have I got? Yeah, that's okay. <sighs> So the only one left is the big boy, All right? Oh no, he's left as well. But he's going to be coming round, right? No, I didn't want to. I wanted to jump, but hey, okay. All right, two left. Oh. Link, please just climb up, dude. Two left, from what I can see. One's on one of these things, which I feel like I'll be all right getting, because hopefully you can just push him up into the water, right? The other one might be a bit more Difficult, he seemed a bit more hefty as well. Get up, get up. Get up. Okay, right. Let's get this dude up, up, up. Right. Push him. No, no, no. Get off, get off. Just go here. Okay. Take you. <sighs> One left, is it? Dude, if I fail this, oh, I'm going to be so pissed. Might be worth me just eating that fruit. Um, <laughs> whatever this fruit is, because. I have um, no other ways of health. Okay. Let's get these bits. Bow, arrow, nice. Come up here. 
Yeah. <sighs> okay. We'll get round. Maybe try and stealth him with some fire fruit and the arrows. That might be good to do. Let's try that, shall we? Right, he's there. What's this? Can I use that? Oh! Can. Okay. Hopefully he's not taking too much notice of me up here. God, he's... He's a hefty boy. Give him that. Maybe I need to get him in the eyes. Yes! Oh, oh! oh, I don't know what that big bomb thing is. Thank you. Oh, wow, I might not have done it that well. What is that big bomb thing? Who knows? But we did it. Woohoo! Oh, that was almost as stressful as the um, other one. I don't know what this does, but let's just drop it, shall we? Oh, yay, we get a chest. That's good. Gimme, gimme. Captain 2 Reaper. Oh, 27. Torch is gonna... Oh, torch. I'm gonna have to go. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so pleased I got that, that done. <laughs> yeah, give me the light. Excellent. And we have the quick travel there now as well, thankfully. So, in the next episode, we will continue with um, the village. Um, hopefully can, well, I've got a new weapon now, so hopefully that will help to get these pirates slash monsters and save the village. There's a geoglyph there as well. So there's plenty to do now that we're in this area. We finally found it. Still need to get a horse at some point, which will really help traverse the areas too. But I think that's a good plan for the next time, hopefully a bit more structure. Um, although we have done a few bits on this round, the exploration and just getting to places has been quite long-winded, so I do apologise for that, but that's the nature of the game. The more I unlock and the more travel, fast travels I unlock, it'll be much easier to explore and to fight other en enemies as well. Um, but that will be in the next episode. Take care. Ta-ta!